Hello and welcome back my friends. My name is Eddie and this is more Tekken 7. This time we're gonna go over Jack 7. Moves that we can launch punish, we can jab punish, or even moves that we can flash. Let's see what this makes this little robot tick, shall we? Before I get started I would like to say that if you do end up liking this video, please give it a like and also drop a comment as your comments will further motivate me to do this more in the future. And now that the introductions have been taken care of, let's begin. We're going to start this one off talking about his rage art. His rage art is a mid. It's about negative a million on block. You can't get a launch punish off of it. For some reason, Yoshimitsu doesn't have the reach to do a down forward four, but a Fubuki knee or a buffered crouch dash one could probably work. And the first move that we have on our list is forward 1 plus 2 from Jack. This move does push back. It's at least negative 15 on block. A back 2-2 two, two would work and knock him down. But if you do buffer a crouch dash 1, you can launch him in the air and get yourself a full combo from that. Our next move is down forward 1 plus 2. This move is a double low. If a second low hits, he is quite safe on block, but if you either make him whiff or you block the second hit, the recovery on this move is so, so long. You can just walk up and get yourself a down forward 2 and a full combo off of this move as well. And this move is down forward 3 plus 4 and a very unholy shoulder. Luckily it is at least negative 15 on block, Yoshimitsu can get himself a very easy down forward 2. Up next we have down plus one plus two, or down one plus two, a double axe handle launches you in the air. Unfortunately, while this move is unsafe on block, typically it's safe, but Yoshimitsu can get a buffered crouch dash one from this move as well. Up next here we have forward forward plus two. This move is an uppercut, but Yoshimitsu can get a down forward two punish. I believe this move has to be buffered. If you buffer it, you're definitely going to get this move. Up next we got ourselves a cheeky down back plus two. This move is kind of like Claudio's down back three from my previous video. You can get a wall rising a two one from this and get yourself a nice full combo from it. And this lovely move is forward four three plus four. A super diving headbutt. Someone will do this. Someone will troll the shit out of somebody. But the recovery is just so massive you can just like get yourself together get yourself a down forward two off this bad boy debug yeah i hate this move too it crushes highs but if you do see yourself blocking this move you can get a wall rising two one from it this move has the same input as debugger half circle forward uh down forward one if you catch a jack flare doing this you can't get a buffered crouch dash one from this move on block of course this move is full crouch down forward one plus two into one plus two this move is a low into a launcher I believe you can get a flash in the in the middle of this if you do block the low and just decide to block the launcher you can get a buffered crouch dash one from this move as well and last up on our list is <laughs> wall rising one plus two one plus two one plus two it is a mid mid low string you can low parry it, you can flash the last hit, or you can even block it and get yourself a wall rising 2-1 from this move as well. The possibilities are fruitful, to say the least. Moving into the jab punishable section, we start off with 1-1 one, one, mid mid. It is typically safe on block, but it leaves you in full crouch, so you can get a wall standing 4 off of this move. Next we have a 2-1-2 string. It is negative 12 on block, so Yoshimitsu can get a down forward 4 off of this bad boy. This string is forward 1-2-2. Two, two. Typically this move is very safe on block. Well, it is very safe on block, but Yoshimitsu can flash before the third hit connects. This move is forward 2. It's high, but it's also negative 12 on block. If you ever catch yourself at least blocking this move, you can get yourself, maybe, I'd say go for 1-1, one, one. that's probably easier, but down forward 4 is easily the optimal punish here. 
This move is forward three, one plus two. This move leaves you in full crouching, but you can get a wall rising four since this is negative 12. This is forward one plus two. This move doesn't have a lot of pushback, but we can, we have just enough reach to be able to get a back two two off of this and then knock them on the ground. This is down forward one two one two. Typically this move is very safe. It jails, the highs jail if you manage to get hit or block the first one. If you duck them all, you can get a wall rising two one. However, if you do block it, we can get a crouch dash one off of it. Very simple. Down forward two, you treat this like a hop kick. It's negative 13 on block. Yoshimitsu can get a down forward one four. Uh, however, Jack's down forward two has strings after it. After that, you can flash anything else. Uh, options, it doesn't matter. Yoshimitsu beats anything done after down forward two anyway. So, if you catch him doing something after that, just go for a flash. This is back plus one. This is just a cheeky little mid. This is negative 10 on block. Uh, that's, that's about it. This is back four four, a double stomp. However, Yoshimitsu can flash the second stomp attempt, getting yourself a full combo after this move. This next move here is a mix up. This is forward forward, one plus two into either two or one plus two, or rather another one plus two. It's mid low or mid mid. However, if you block the first forward forward, one plus two, either option can be flashed. Jax, while standing one, uh, we pretty much just treat this like a hop kick. It's negative 13 on block. Yoshimitsu can get a down forward 1-4 combo off of this. This move is while standing two into one. It puts us in full crouch, but it is negative enough at negative 12 to have us get a wall rising four off of this. The full crouch 1-1-1 one, one, one mix up, it starts off with two lows and then goes into a mid and then after that particular mid is a mix up. So what I was able to learn from this is that after the first two lows, we can flash the third mid if we if we block the first two lows. Alright, let me let me start over. So it's low low mid. We if we manage to not necessarily block the first one, but the second one, if we can block that one, Yoshimitsu can get a flash off of it. And every mix up after that third hit that we just flash won't matter because flash will beat the mix up, you know, if we manage to get this right. And lastly, this move is full crouch one in the two. If this is a low mid mix up, uh, if you block the low, we can get ourselves a flash just like the combo previously. If we manage to block the low, we can get ourselves a free flash after that mid, or before that mid. And to finish off Jack 7, we have his 10 hit combo. Both variations start off with a special mid into two lows. So by the third hit, you want to be able to low parry and get yourself a low parry combo off of this. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. I'm glad that you made it this far. If you guys would like to help me out, please give me a like, leave a comment. Like I said in the beginning, the comments help me get motivated to do more of these. So if you guys would be so kind as to help me out with that, thank you very much. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you guys next time. Cause he know what I don't mention to him What's the point in praying to him What would I be saying to him Other than complaining to him Despite his indifference I'm afraid to lose him Just looking at me You can tell that I'm a bad acquaintance Shit I got more L's Than a Spanish language Might even join straight crooked On some crazy shit Cause these days I'm clocking out of work Asking what day is